It's ironic that the band who most people associate with the beginnings of electronic rock have had to wait until now to find a place at the top of the charts. Computer World is the latest Kraftwerk album, and they credit computers, as do the Human League, Visage, Landscape, and many others. We've got the kind of computers these bands use here. Thomas Dolby, who is at the forefront of electronic music now, to guide us through some of his machines. This computer is a prime example of the thing that they use. They take the music traditionally written, transfer it into numbers, insert it into the computer, and the computer drives four synthesizers at the same time. This one is playing Chopin's Minute Waltz. And this is a drum computer which works on the same level. You don't have to be a drummer, you just pump in the kind of rhythm you want, press the button, But these things are all very expensive. So if you want something perhaps that's more your cup of tea, for around £30, you can get this, which has been produced as a byproduct from research done into the more sophisticated machines. This contains its own rhythm machine and is capable of producing many synth voices. And it comes programmed with its own German folk tune. Thomas, you've brought some more bits and pieces in. Could you take us through some of them and tell us what they do? This um, briefcase here is, a, is what you might call an executive drum kit. It's uh, basically electronic drum sounds yeah. which have been miniaturised and brought down to the level of pads. Um, this is a kind of analog sequencer if you like the difference between this and your computer is that it's a lot easier to program from my point of view because I will just play a line mm. and it will that will line will then be turned into a sequence uh, the sound of which I can affect as I go along um, and to use as the basis for adding other more familiar instruments yeah. um, to then get onto these are more straightforward synthesizers the application of which for me in, in my live show is that anything I do with these, any sounds that I set up, can be programmed into a computer and the computer will then play back to me, rather like a, an old fashioned kind of roll piano. Yeah. The computer will play back to me um, the notes that I've programmed into it, but not so much the sounds, that's more of a, a mix that I'm doing as I go along. Right. Um, to add into that, you can have anything like strings. that you manage to um, tie in all the instruments so that they work together? Well, the principle of the stage show is really that um, as I go along, any part that you play on a synthesizer is really just digital information which is applied to that particular box. If you drain that digital information away from the synthesizer itself and program it into a central unit, um, this is a video display terminal yeah. of a, a computer terminal. Then you can dump that program onto tape, which is a, a digital tape. It's not musical sounds, it's just mu uh, digital information. And then recall it at a later date and change the sound. Mm. Um, the way that I work that into the live show is that I can create vocal harmonies with myself by plugging into this device. What's this? This is, a this, is a, this is a vocoder, yeah. What this basically does is to take my voice, the patterns of my voice, and um, to superimpose them on a musical sound, so that as I'm speaking, it doesn't even matter if I'm singing, I can be using a sound, playing a sound in from this machine. And you're just talking into the mic? I'm just talking into the mic, yeah. And uh, it's taking my voice patterns and superimposing them on the sound of this particular instrument. So that means that I can like sing a a lead vocal, if you like, and just create a harmony with myself as I'm going along. Great. Thomas Dolby, thanks very much.